Welcome back to another Species Spotlight. I'm Miss Nicole here in the historic Butterfly Garden section. And today I'm going to be talking about one of our native plants that's also endangered. It's the pearlberry, which is also known as the tear shrub. Now the pearlberry plant is native to South Florida, but it's been also spotted growing in the Bahamas and even as far north as the Everglades National Park. And it's thought to be believed that the seeds of the pearlberry were spread that far north during Hurricane Donna in 1960. Now this plant is not to be confused with the coral known as pearlberry. Same name, different species. So we're talking about this beautiful garden plant which is right behind me. And this plant is actually perennial and evergreen, meaning that it continues to grow all year round and it stays green all year round also. What's also interesting is that this plant continues to bloom with flowers and berries almost all year round. So you can almost always see the pearls, also known as the fruit, on this plant. So let's take a closer look and examine the flowers, fruits, seeds, and leaves of this. If you're wondering why this plant is called pearlberry, you can see right here. The berries of this plant actually look like little tiny pearls. And inside these pearls is actually one single ribbed seed. And the seeds get eaten by different birds, which as we know, the birds eat the berries and later on use the bathroom and pass the seeds along. Here we can see some of the flowers that grow. They're very tiny with five distinct white petals. And these flowers are pollinated by different bees and butterflies. The bark of this species is also pretty interesting too. It has furrowed bark, meaning that it has these deep wrinkles and lines in it. And we know that this species is native here and it grows best in the type of soil we have, which is sandy and limestone. So thanks for joining me for another Species Spotlight. See you next week.